on behalf of the University of Miami, students, faculty, and staff, please welcome the President of the United States, Barack Obama. a fascinating demonstration of the work that some of you are doing at the College of Engineering. And, and, and let me say at the outset, uh, we need more engineers, so I could not be prouder of those of you who are studying engineering. We couldn't have better scripted the President's remarks. He recognizes the need for engineers and applauds us for the critically important research we are performing at the college. And the work couldn't be more important. Because what, what they were doing was figuring out how our buildings, our manufacturers, our businesses can waste less energy. And that's one of the fastest, easiest ways to reduce our dependence on oil and save a lot of money in the process and make our economy stronger. The activities of the energy assessment effort are answering the President's call for bold new fuel strategies, realizing that most businesses cannot abandon fossil fuels completely. Our research in fuel cells is another example of attempting to help industry in conserving and distributing energy while developing alternative energy sources. We can't just rely on fossil fuels from the last century. We, we can't just allow ourselves to be held hostage to the ups and downs of the world oil market. We've got to keep developing new sources of energy. We've got to develop new technology that helps us use less energy and use energy smarter. We've got to rely on American know-how and young engineers right here at the U who are focused on energy. That, that is our future. Indeed, our faculty and students are focused on the future of sustainable energy systems, both in the classroom and in the laboratory. Working with the government and the private sector is one of the college's main goals. Now, the potential of a sustained all-of-the-above energy strategy is all around us. Here in Miami, 2008, Miami became the first major American city to power its city hall entirely with solar and renewable energy. Right here in Miami. Realizing our efforts are aligned with national priorities inspires us to push forward with the college's energy-related projects, as well as with other activities in sustainable systems. One such project, funded by the National Science Foundation, involves re-engineering the water supply for an entire student dormitory to be self-sustaining or net zero in terms of collection, treatment, and reuse. I need you guys to dream big. I need those of you who are a lot smarter than me to figure out how we're going to be able to uh, tap into new energy sources. The research undertakings mentioned by the President remain an integral part of the college's mission to graduate tomorrow's technology leaders and at the same time to offer practical solutions to national problems. Finally, we are of course extremely proud of the fact that the White House decided to visit with us. Indeed, all of the college's students, faculty, and staff are likewise exhilarated, inspired, and thankful that President Obama chose our growing engineering program for this very unique national recognition.
through the end zone and pulling. He's got him. The ball's loose. Miami has the ball. Stacey Cooley goes all the way. Got him. Touchdown. Miami. Intercepted by Miami. Tracy Harris. Duke Johnson running left. Duke Johnson. Touchdown.